Hey everybody, so I spent like two and a half hours last night trying to figure out how to solve a problem. I couldn't figure out, I couldn't find online really how to fix this problem, so I'm going to make a video of it, so maybe somebody else doesn't have to waste two and a half hours. Um, I'm using HitFilm Creator, it is a version, in case it matters, I don't know, 20, 23.1, 21.0.3.0, so there's that. My problem is, right down here I have the uh, clips from the video for Westworld that I want to put into my, my review. I have edited all my commentary that I filmed of myself, rendered it as one video, and I'm going to drop that in here and re-chop it up because it saves bandwidth for the program and otherwise it gets bogged down and it makes me freaking insane. So, I rendered my video. I rendered it to use it, right? I, I'm importing it to my project here. I opened it in my file. Here it is. All right, so here's my... Um, that's got to come... Okay, so here's my commentary video. Here's how it looks. I drop it in. Go look at it. And it is like this. What the hell? All right, so the issue is, clearly... My um, resolution, my picture dimensions, if you will, of my commentary is 1920 by 1080 pixels. My uh, resolution of the movie video, because that's what the movie was, is 720 by 480 pixels. So it makes my, it thinks my original video is, is too big. It'll, it makes it bigger to, quote, fit, to match the movie video uh, size. If I make this to match my commentary video, then the movie is like tiny. It's like this big. So that's a problem. So instead of that, you can go away. What we're going to do is, so here is my, open the viewer up here. Here is my commentary video. All cleaned up. We want to export it at specific dimensions. We want to export it at the same dimensions as the target project, that movie clips project. What you get when you export something, let's say I'm, I'm gonna take just a tiny sliver as a, to demonstrate with. Okay. Export just that part. So when we export something, we get a list of choices, right? Facebook 720p HD, looks like it ought to work just fine. Guess what? It didn't. So you're gonna have to make a custom preset here. You're gonna make your own preset and set it to whatever you want. The eagle eyed down there saw mine already. So the way you do that is, up here by export, you've got Q presets, right? Click on presets. These are all the presets that come with it. And here's the ones that I've made. You can make your own. So you go up here to the right and click this green plus new preset. I must click MP4 because I'm making a video. I haven't experimented with the others. Now here you'll see video is checked. Go to dimensions from source. No, we hate the source. We're gonna go that, make that go away. Now we can make it be whatever we want. So I'm gonna click on this first dimension. This link here means that it's when you change the dimensions, it keeps it proportional to your original video. I'm assuming that's what you want, so we're gonna leave that. I'm gonna set this to, what was it 720? I'm gonna hit enter, and it'll automatically make this height match the same proportional dimensions as our original video. Now it doesn't like the 405 being an odd number. And I remember from when I did this before, that uh, 716 gives us a, a nice even number for the, the height. Now these dimensions are slightly smaller than the dimensions of our target project, the movie clips project. That just means that our whole image is gonna fit in the screen. There'll be a little bit of black around the edge. If you put in a width for your dimensions here, that's the same as your target project, but this height is a bigger number, it just means that little bit is gonna get chopped off. If that's what happens, you can put in the height to match the target video, and then this width will be a little small. But this way, it'll all fit in. There'll be a little black around the edges, but it's not going to be terrible. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to name my preset, and I'm going to click OK. All right, so now when I scroll down all these presets, I have a choices of for video is available. So if I want to add something to my queue and I want to render it, for, for video, I'm going to 
export that, and eventually it will start. I'm going to find the coffee cup that actually has my coffee in it. Don't embarrass me now. There we go. All right. I need a tiny clip so that it get done fast. Now we're going to go back to our target video, that movie sections video. No, I don't need you. We're going to import this new video. We're going to drop it in. All right, moment of truth. Yay, it fits. Okay, awesome. That's how it works. You can see there's a little black on the top and bottom, but the whole thing fits on the screen. If you wanted, you could even like make this zoom in a bit if you wanted to by setting those dimensions as whatever you want. But this is how you make your entire video fit in to another project without it being crazy zoomed in or out. Thank you for watching. Have fun making cool video stuff. <laughs>